So basically in today's video, we are going to learn how to find the particular solution of a differential equation given the initial conditions. Now let's start off with our first example. Example 1. Find the particular solution of dy dx plus 4x over y equals 0 where y is not equal to 0 given that the initial condition given is y of 0 is equal to 2. So let's try to solve this example. So we are given the differential equation dy dx plus 4x over y equals 0 and we have the initial condition to be y of 0 equals 2. So what this primarily means is that we have x to be 0, we have y to be 2. Now we are asked to find the particular solution. So to find the particular solution, you first of all need to find the general solution from this differential equation. So let's try to find the general solution. So we have the differential equation dy dx plus 4x over y equals 0. Now let's transpose this term to the right hand side. So we have dy dx equals negative 4x over y. Now what we are trying to do here is to group all the y's on one side of the equation and then all x's also on one side of the equation. So here we can cross multiply. So when we do that we have y times dy equals negative 4x times dx. At this point let's try to integrate both sides. Now the integral of y with respect to y is y squared over 2. So we are going to increase the exponent on y by 1. So it's already 1. So we have 1 plus 1 which is 2 and then we divide by the total exponent which is 2. And that is equal to negative 4 x squared over 2 and then we introduce a constant of integration c. So when you integrate negative 4x then you are going to get a negative 4x squared over 2. Let's simplify further. So we have y squared over 2 equals this becomes negative 2x squared plus c. So we can consider this over 1 and then we cross multiply so that we have y squared equals 2 times negative 2x squared becomes negative 4x squared and then 2 times c is 2c. Now 2c is also a constant so you can leave that as c. Therefore we have y squared equals negative 4x squared plus c. So let's simplify this equation as y squared plus 4x squared equals c and we call this the general solution. So this is the general solution of the given and differential equation. So usually the general solution contains arbitrary constants. Okay, so here we have a constant value C. Now, using this initial condition, we can find the particular solution of this differential equation. So that's what we are going to do. So given the conditions, we have x to be 0, y to be 2. Let's plug in these values here. So we are going to have 2 square plus 4 times 0 square equals c. So 2 square is 4 plus 4 times 0 square is 0. That's equal to c. We have c equals 4. So we have the value of c to be equal to 4. Next, we are going to plug in the value of c into the general equation. So therefore, that becomes the particular solution given this initial condition. So we have y square plus 4x square equals 4. So this is how to find the particular solution of a given differential equation if you are given the initial condition. Now let's move on as you solve the next example. So for example 2, we are going to find the particular solution of dy dx plus y square times e to the power x equals 0 given that y of 0 is equal to 1 over 2. 
So using the same approach, we have dy dx plus y squared times e to the power x equals 0. Now let's transpose this term to the right hand side. We have dy dx equals negative y squared times e to the power x. Now let's divide through by negative y squared. So this becomes, we are going to multiply this by the reciprocal of this. So you are going to have negative 1 over y squared times dy dx equals e to the power x. And then when you want to cross multiply, then it means that you have dx multiplying e to the power x. So it finally becomes negative 1 over y squared times dy equals e to the power x times dx. So at this point, we are going to integrate both sides. Now, you can simplify this as negative y to the power negative 2 dy. And that will be equal to integral of e to the power x x now let's integrate they are going to have y to the power negative 2 plus 1 over that's we are going to increase the exponent by 1 and then you divide through by the total exponent negative 2 plus 1 now negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 so you are going to have negative y exponent negative 1 over negative 1 now negative negative becomes positive so finally you have y to the power negative 1 so we can simplify that as y to the power negative 1 and that is equal to now when you integrate e to the power x you still have e to the power x and then you have plus a constant of integration so finally we have 1 over y equals e to the power x plus c so this is the general the general solution general solution so using this initial condition let's find the value of c so we have x to be equal to 0 y to be equal to 1 over 2 so thus we have 1 over 1 over 2 and that's equal to e to the power 0 plus c now 1 over 1 over 2 is equal to 2 because you have 1 times 2 over 1 so that's 2 equals e to the power 0 is 1 plus c you transpose 1 to the left hand side you have 2 minus 1 equals c and that is equal to 1 so you have c equals 1 next you are going to plug c into this general equation and thus we have 1 over y equals e to the power x plus 1 and here you can flip 1 over y so that you have the reciprocal of the right hand side or the reciprocal of what you have on the right hand side so that becomes y equals 1 over e to the power x plus 1 so this happens to be the particular solution of the given differential equation with this initial condition. Now to the last example. Example 3. Here we are asked to find the particular solution of dy dx equals x times y times e to the power x where x and then y are both greater than 0 given the boundary condition y equals e x equals 1 and then we are asked to leave our answer in the form ln of y equals f of x so let's solve this together so we have the differential equation dy dx equals x times y times e to the power x and at this point what we are going to do is to divide through by y so we divide through by y 
so that we have 1 over y times dy and then we multiply the x by what we have on the right hand side so that becomes x times e to the power x dx now let's try to integrate both sides so when you integrate 1 over y you are going to have ln of y so ln of y and that is equal to the integral of x times e to the power x now we have two functions here x and then e to the power x so what you are going to do is to use integration by parts now for integration by parts it is given by if you have integral of u dv then that is equal to u times v minus integral of v du now mostly you want u to be the polynomial or the equation that when you differentiate over and over is going to vanish so we can assume u we can assume u to be equal to x and then dv to be equal to e to the power x dx so with that we have du dx to be 1 when we differentiate this with respect to x we have 1 and then for this one we have we have dv over dx equals e to the power x when you want to integrate this then you have v and that's equal to when you integrate e to the power x you still have e to the power x so that is e to the power x now we are going to plug 1 2 3 4 in here so that's going to be we have u to be x so we have x times v which is e to the power x minus the integral of we have v which is e to the power x times du and then we have du to be 1 dx so e to the power x times 1 is still e to the power x so we have e to the power x dx now since we have the integral sign it means we are going to further integrate so we have ln of y to be equal to x times e to the power x minus now when you integrate e to the power x you have e to the power x so e to the power x plus c and then we simplify this as ln of y equals we factor out e to the power x we have x minus 1 plus c so we call this the general solution of this differential equation so the general solution now let's plug in these conditions we have y equals e and then x equals 1 into this general solution so that becomes ln of e equals e to the power 1 into bracket 1 minus 1 plus c now this is the natural log and it always has a base of e and then log of the same base is equal to 1 so ln of e base e is 1 and that is equal to 1 minus 1 is 0 0 times e to the power 1 is still 0 so we have c to be equal to 1 so therefore c is equal to 1 now we plug c back into this general equation and then we have ln of y to be equal to e to the power x times x minus 1 plus 1 and this happens to be the particular solution of this differential equation given the boundary condition so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye